Hi, this is Dark Fox127, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today is going to be a really short scripting video, which is going to be nice and simple, and it's basically how to create a functional key that can be used to lock a door. Okay, so as you can see, I have loaded up the creation kit, and I've put together a nice little kind of custom player home thing. It's nothing fancy, it's just for the purpose of this tutorial. And as always, this resource will be available on my Skyrim Nexus page if you want to take a look at the ESP and you actually need to get access to the script. Now, the script's really simple, which we'll see in a moment, but the first thing that I want to do is obviously create a key. So I'm just going to go under Items Key, as I've done here, and I'm just going to find an existing one. That one seems to be okay. Then I'll just change the ID. DF127 key front. Let's call it the front door key. And I'm just going to confirm that first because I'm editing an existing. As always, there's that risk that the script gets forgotten when you're creating a new form. So open it back up. If you get an error message, just click yes to all. Sometimes you get those. Now I'm going to add my script, which is a fairly short and simple script, nothing too detailed for this tutorial, nice and simple. And all it does is have an object reference, the door to lock, a string, which is your own custom message, which I've actually got to just tweak here. And that's just going to allow you to put door locked as a notification in the corner or whatever you like. And the beauty of this script is it makes sure that it doesn't just lock the door. If it's open, it'll actually make sure that the animation's played. Because if you were to just do door lock, nice and simple, what'll happen if the door's open and you're looking at it when you tend to lock? It'll just not play the animation and just kind of flicker shut and it won't look right. So what this does is it has an integer for open state and it's just door 01.get open state and then if it's open or opening then it'll make sure it's got that little bit of wait time there so it'll make sure it finishes opening if it's opening and it'll play the animation on itself to close and then it will lock so it'll all look fine and it's uh, it's really that simple however if you do want to do this to multiple doors then you're going to want to Check the open state of each and then lock each one probably and have an object reference because if one's closed and then one's open it's only checking the state of one which is closed already then it's just going to look funny on the other door if you're looking at that if that makes sense. But this is nice and simple for one door. The other thing to mention is this is really aimed at doors with animations so load doors aren't going to be a problem although this isn't really going to affect it in any way checking the state because auto load doors usually just close themselves anyway. Uh, this shouldn't affect anything, it should still work, but it's technically unnecessary for load doors. And the object reference, you could just do multiple ones for different load doors and then just lock each of them rather than have to keep checking states, like I said. So that's nice and simple. Save and close that. Now all I'm going to do is do the properties. So I'll just do that little message first. I'm going to put door locked. But if you've got multiple doors, of course, it's open to just change that to doors or whatever you want to say. And then the reference is going to be the door itself. So I've only got the one. And I'm going to place the key down somewhere that I can access it. So just on this barrel should do. And then the other thing to do is link it to the door. So locked requires key and find your key in the list. Now the reason I've done that is because obviously the game does know how to unlock doors but there isn't a setup to actually use the key to lock them which is what my script does. So the unlocking is done using the game's automatic system. That's why we've linked it to that door. Now this also means that it will be locked to begin with. So if you're planning on having the key available inside the home, then you might want to figure out a way of getting it inside to get the key the first time. Otherwise, it's going to be locked and you're not going to get inside. But of course, if you're not too fussed about that and you're getting the key elsewhere uh, before you head inside, then you'll use the key to open it up and then you'll go from there. So that's absolutely fine. And uh, like I say, this is an animated door, so checking the state is pretty important. Or in fact, the one way that you might want to do it is have it open by default. That would prevent that issue of it being locked to begin with. 
And uh, it's really that simple. So we're going to go in game now and we're going to see that working. And here I am in game now. So I'm just going to grab my key off the side. And as you can see, it's locked, like I said. That will automatically open it using the game's locking system. But of course, you can't usually lock the door back up. But if we use our key, which we've got the script on, as you can see, it says that the door is now locked. But if, like I said, it's already open, and then we go to lock it again, it'll actually make sure it closes the animation. Otherwise, it would have just shut straight away, and it would look funky, like I said. So, nice and simple. And that's it for this video, so I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section below. If you do want to use the script in this video or anything else such as the ESP or any of my other resources, you can find it all on the Skyrim Nexus page that I have set up, and all the links are in the description below. Also, if you're interested in any of my other work that I do, or even my mods, then you can check them out at www.darkfox127.co.uk, as you can see on the screen now. And I am, of course, available on social media. Mostly Facebook is where I post stuff, but if you're not aware, I also have a Steam page. So you can go and follow that, and you'll actually get announcements as I do things like live streaming, because I'm up on Twitch quite a lot now, doing Corinthia Tower Reborn. And also, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.